DanSavageOrlandoMagic.com. Dwayne, when you look at your guys' offense as a whole, uh, when you're playing your best basketball offensively, what, what are some of the keys there? Um, yeah, the most important key is to play through our all-star. <laughs> um, I mean, you, you look at the games where we play the best, is like we play through him, um, and he's going to make the right pass. He's going to make the right play. Um, like you just look at his overall game, he always plays the right way. So anytime we're playing our best on the offensive end, this is when we're playing through Vooch, um, post-ups, he's going to kick it out. We know he's going to get double team. We know he's going to make the right pass. Um, but once we, you know, he makes the right pass, it's on us if to make the shots or make the extra pass to the open man and, you know, so forth and so on. Go ahead, Dan. You know, Dwayne, over your last eight games, the team is is four and four, and they're you know you guys are doing it with some staunch defensive efforts, but the the sh shooting percentage is low. Do you feel that you guys need to get better shots, or you're getting good enough shots? They just need to start going down. Um, we can get better shots. Um, we definitely can get better shots. Um, but like I said, we just got to play within the offense and, and play through, you know, our key players. Um, once we play through our key players and if they have a shot, they don't, you know, they don't feel as comfortable and they make the right play, then the next guy have to make the right play, whether that's shooting the ball um, or just, you know, kicking it one more time to a wide open man. So uh, we can we can get a little bit better shots. Um, and that's probably the key tonight, just to come in and play hard on the defense end, but on the offense end, move them, um, you know, uh, you look at their defensive number, they're not that, you know, the Mavs are not that good. So if we just move them a little bit, get them off their period, then we should be fine. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Dwayne, I'm curious, what, what are your thoughts about how to slow Luka Doncic? Um, I mean, uh, he, he's a good player. <laughs> um, you know, he knows how to play the game. He, he can pass very well. He can score the ball very well. Um, it's, it's not necessarily, I, I think, you know, we, we got a plan, you know, to try to slow him down, but at the end of the day, he's still a very good player. And um, he's gonna see, he's probably gonna see from us what, you know, a, a numerous of other teams have, you know, have done throughout games. So um, the goal is to, you know, slow down those other players. You look at, you look at the games, we, when we, you look at the first game where we played them, um, and you got a guy like Tim Hardaway who's very capable and have 36 on us. That's, you know, we was in the game, but it's like we can't let Tim Hardaway have 36 and Trey Burke have 23 um, along with, you know, whatever Luca had and, and try to win that game. It, it's just not possible. So um, at the end of the day, even if he still gets his numbers, we have to slow down, you know, those other guys around him and uh, limit them from big nights as well. Christo Saltis, Sport DNA. Dwayne, about Christoph Porzingis, how important is to slow him down to, on tonight's game? And what did you see on the Dallas game against Brooklyn Nets? Um, well, I mean, like I said, <laughs> he's a good player. Um, nobody has slowed him down. <laughs> so if you go into the thing, oh, we have to slow him down, it, it's, 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 it's hard to do. Um, and that's a number of players in this league. This is why we play in the best league. Um, some of the best scores ever. And it's just hard to slow them down. But on a team like his, if you can slow down the other guys around him, then we have a chance to win the game for sure. Um, and that, I, yeah, I can't answer it no better than that. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, Dwayne.